Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. As you all are most certainly aware, global positioning technology has been advancing at a dizzying pace for the last 10, 15, 20 years. And as you're probably also aware, we've been doing our best to keep up with that technology with a steady barrage of GNSS new modules, boards, and products. Now, every time something new and exciting comes out in the world of GNSS, we want to get our hands on it as soon as we can to help you get your hands on it as soon as you can. Well, such is the case once again with our most recent release. Ah, I remember just over a year ago when I first got to work with an RTK board and I was so excited to be able to stream L-band correction data. Well, now I can cheerfully treble that by streaming three concurrent bands of correction data with this, the new SparkFun Tri-Band GNSS RTK Breakout. This board hosts the UM980 from Unicorcom, an all-constellation, multi-frequency, high-precision RTK positioning module. It's a 1408-channel GNSS receiver based on the Nebulous 4, capable of concurrent reception of GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, and QZSS constellations. Accuracy varies depending on mode, with horizontal accuracy from 1.5 meters in autonomous mode down to 8 millimeters in RTK mode, and vertically from 2.5 meters in autonomous mode down to 15 millimeters in RTK. COCOM limits for the module put maximum altitude at 18,000 meters, maximum G's at under 5, and maximum velocity at 515 meters per second, with velocity accuracy at 0.03 meters per second. It supports NMEA, RTCM, and with specific firmware, Unicore, all over UART. The board sports an integrated SMA connector to use with a multiband GNSS antenna of your choice. It will accept 5 volt or 3.3 volt, but just be aware that all logic is 3.3. There's a USB connector with ESD protection diodes for the USB data lines. There's a built-in resettable 6 volt 1.5 amp PTC fuse, plus a CH430 USB to serial converter on the UART1 port, locking JST connector for the UART2 port, and blue smurf footprint for the UART3 port. There are LEDs for power, PVT, PPS, and RTK, plus jumpers for shield, VSEL, power, PVT, PPS, RTK, BTVCC, and VANT. All of this on a 2 inch by 2 inch board weighing in at just 13.8 grams. Yes, I mixed Imperial with metric. This is a great board and incredibly accurate in RTK mode. Now admittedly, that kind of accuracy is not going to be necessary in every project. I mean, if I'm in the high country and I need to find my way back to my campsite, I think if I can come within a meter and a half, I should be okay. But there are times when this is going to be perfect and in fact could even be life-saving. Now, am I perhaps overstating things a bit? Now, it may sound like it, but hear me out. Now, I want to take a moment to talk to all the geologists watching. Okay, listen up, you two. Now, we've all seen the havoc and devastation that plate tectonics can wreak. Uh, thinking back over just the past 20 years, there was a devastating earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia in 04. There was Pakistan in 05, China in 08, Haiti in 2010, even just this year, Turkey and Syria. Now, in just these five events, over 600 million people have lost their lives. And a contributing factor to that number was the fact that no one saw these things coming. Now, of course, I know we can't predict earthquakes, not even a little, that's, that's crazy, due to the incredible number and complexity of all the factors involved. However, with millimeter level monitoring of plate movement and seismic activity, we can begin to detect and record patterns that would indicate accumulating pressure between tectonic plates leading to earthquakes. More immediately, a GNSS unit with this kind of accuracy can be incredibly valuable in the early warning of incoming tsunamis. Uh, the 2004 earthquake and tsunami killed over a quarter of a billion people. Uh, the Great Chilean earthquake of 1960 resulted in tsunamis that affected not only Chile, but also Hawaii, Japan, the Philippines, New Zealand, Australia, and even the Aleutian Islands. In many small coastal villages, the chance to have a low-cost, highly accurate system of early detection for incoming tsunamis could be invaluable and, yes, even life-saving. And I haven't even touched on the possibility of avalanche, landslide, or volcanic eruption early detection systems. So head on over to our website, dig into the full specs, and imagine the possibilities of the new SparkFun Tri-Band GNSS RTK Breakout. And until next time, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. That count was the fact that no one, I uh, didn't like that. Almost there, almost there. We can be, be uh, as you are, as you are almost certainly aware. And then we can just freeze me and I can re-voice over anything, anything I get wrong.
Spark Fan, Tri Band, GNSS, RTK Breakout. Yeah! Yes. All right. Whew.